Someone else on the men, Matt Mitrione, the Purdue football star turned MMA heavyweight, broke the orbital floor on his right side a couple of weeks ago, but Matt is a guy who has always shown plenty of fight. Matt Mitrione. It's been three weeks now since Matt Mitrione faced Travis Brown in UFC Fight Night 81. Things were going fine until Brown struck with a couple of eye pokes and then worked Matt's right eye in the third round until it looked like this. Brown won in a TKO. My, oh, it looked like my eyelid was pregnant. It was just massive, you know. These days, back in the indie boxing and grappling gym on the east side, all Matt can do is laugh and go through all the memes on social media. One of the first things I saw was a meme of my, eye, my eyelid in Arabic. Like, not a lick of English, not a lick of anything else. It was all Arabic. And I was like, wow, I, I, look, my I made it, you know? <laughs> it's, 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 secretly, it's kind of big time, but I don't know in what way. So, you know <laughs> right, what you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a joke across the world now. <laughs> Me and my right eye. Wanted to continue fighting. Only looking back, it's really no laughing matter. Mitrione says there should have been big penalties before things got bad. I got poked in the eye, same eye twice, within three minutes of real lifetime. Uh, both pretty bad. I was seeing double, and um, there were a lot of oversights in my fight. And uh, I it think it shouldn't have gotten to the point that it did. It should have. It should have never gotten to the point where I got punched in, where my eye, where my eyebrow got pregnant, right. and, and uh, I got slammed on my shoulder and got finished off. It never should have gotten to that point. He and his group plan to petition the fight, which just might lead to disqualification. In the meantime, it's back to work in the East Side Gym place that's produced some six UFC fighters and believes there are more to come. There are so many kids that would never have a future in sports yeah. that, you know, maybe organize sports because maybe they don't have enough of a home life to help kind of get them situated or whatever else. You can come here and grind mm -hmm. and, and just and embrace it and, 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 and see if you love it or not. Matt's a top 20 heavyweight, but he's also an MMA free agent. Might leave USC for another organization called Bellator. He's also leaving in early April to visit the troops out in Japan. And after surgery earlier this week, he'll be back in the octagon very soon. Still to come.